Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the Mirai Sentai Time Ranger Time Shadow or known for us in Europe and US as the Time Force Goddammit Time Shadow Megazord. Oh, long words and it's hot. This arrived today and well thank you German customs for nothing uh, and who didn't realize that was sarcasm. Um, this parcel arrived today. I've been waiting on it since four weeks roughly, I guess. I had to check eBay for exact dates, but it came wrapped in this kitchen foil and it was open already. I think they had to check inside what's inside, but I don't mind. It's their job to check if there's nothing in there that's not supposed to be in there, but handling stuff I order taking with care, that should be also a thing, because this thing, I ordered it from eBay for a really good deal, I think $150 complete with shipping, this is from 2000, it's sealed, so it's basically new, and well, I took a peek inside, that's that's no, that's why I know why, uh, and why I'm kind of pissed on customs, it's still in good condition, but the seller was so nice to bubble wrap it and have fillings inside and they just thrown it in and good. I mean, they see the price when I pay for this and they're just like, ah, buy. What is this? They, they get money for doing their job. You buy something and it doesn't uh, get taken handle with care, which is like, d don't get me wrong. And if anybody who sees this from German customs, I don't attack you personally. I don't attack anyone in any kind of... I'm, I'm pissed. This happened more than once that I buy something internationally what I don't get in Germany. For example, I don't want to get sidetracked too much, but back in the day when Power Rangers was a thing in Toys R Us, I ordered this Saba from the US. New, sealed, and um, it wasn't available on Toys R Us, so I had to take the eBay route. The seller was nice, it gave me a discount afterwards. And Customs opened this up. It came, it was supposed to be sealed anew, and like, what, why is this open? I think I told that story back in the day uh, on multiple videos. And it's hard to see on camera, I will show you. Here, on the blade, they took a, an X-Acto knife and made made a uh, small dent in there basically uh, a little carve to check if this is a real weapon if you take this out of box and you have this in hand you can feel this is plastic it cost me like 150 dollars back in the day plus shipping so i paid roughly 200 for it because shipping was expensive back then even more than it is now part wise depends where you get stuff and i don't know if you see it but see this this carve here which on, on both sides, they, they took they took this and carved it and ruined this this thing for me, basically. I mean, I don't want to send it back, want to deal with, oh, get another and have it worse condition because everything else is fine and I, I live with this ever since. But this is one of those examples where I'm like, why do you do this shit? You can feel it's plastic. It's a toy. Yeah, I, I get that you, oh, real weapon? No, that's a no-go. Fine. But you see... Okay, could be an exotic knife, exotic blade, but you feel the blade is plastic. There is no metal to the blade. And you still take uh, something like this and boop, and ruin somebody else's things. Sorry for rambling here at the start of the video, but anyhow, um, I will show you what you came for. This is basically the thing I ordered and I'm happy to have this because this completes my time force sword display back which you cannot see because i'm in the way <laughs> um you will see the entire display in between october and december in a new room tour of course um you can check the old room tour if you want to but there is not too much time force and it's very different compared to how is it now and um this is a really nice piece to have i've seen it multiple times for like very cheap on ebay the American version and the Japan version, but um, it always was the, the cheap one out of box. I don't mind out of box because this will get out of box anyways. Um, 
it cost too much for what the quality was, if that makes sense. Anyhow, um, this is the box art, always nice box in, uh, from the Japan uh, side of things. Here is the side of the Zord, or Mecha, depends what you prefer. And here's the combination with the Time Force Megazord, or the Time Robo, is I think the right term uh, when you're talking Sentai. And same on this side, here's the, uh, the Time Ranger logo. Same deal on the uh, lower end. And as I said, it's still sealed as you can see here. So, yeah. Also, Time Force is kind of complete. Zord wise, it's really complete, complete. And I'm struggling with myself that just as a side note, I will open this up, give you a quick overview. I think I will make a cut to head everything out entirely, but I want to see step by step. Sorry for the noise if that's uh, too much. I hope not. If yes, I will uh, dim that down in post. So let's see. Also, everybody is complaining plastic free. Uh, think about this. This is from 2000. Almost no plastic, <laughs> which is uh, which is nuts. And nobody complains about this or was complaining back then. So we have uh, stickers, not too much. Luckily, I don't really like stickers because I always screw up um, when I apply those and we have manual. So we'll need that in a moment. And here's the entire uh, thing in box. Um, let me see if I can get this up. Uh, we might, it's not too many parts. So I guess we can do that without a cut and I can talk a bit in between. Um, so when I say this is complete, I'm talking Zords. Yes, this entire display is complete because I have every Zord that there is. But uh, there's an accessory I'm missing. And as I said, I'm struggling with myself. It's expensive. It's a time jet in this scale with five Rangers, which is the weapon of Time Force Megazord. And that thing goes between 350 and 500 plus dollars at the moment. And this is basically something small like this box wise. And I don't really want to pay that much. I seen a loose version, which was screwed up as hell. I don't know how that happened, but uh, hell th that they wanted still like 200 for it. I'm like, nope. <laughs> I think there was a base to it, the jet and uh, five rangers, which could go in the time jets from the time force Megazord, which is cool, but still it, that's like too much money because it's super rare. Um, so we have some extra parts here. We have the mask for the combination of the Megazord and the time uh, uh, shadow, basically. Um, give me a moment, and you can. Oh. Ah, nice. It's heavy. Wow, didn't expect that. Um, and how do I get you out there without ruining everything? Give me a sec. Because the weapons here inside as an extra piece. It's it's like in here. That's also one thing, a uh, weapon, uh, oh, it's, it's taped. Okay. One sec. Uh, weapons, for example, always get lost or little helmet pieces when you buy swords loose. Uh, squeaky noises. I don't want to squeaky noises. Mm. And I don't want to ruin everything. Ah, nice. Oh, it has electronics. That's new. Well, for me at least. Oh, interesting. Like this, this, think about it. It's in box for 24 years. Um, what do you think? Do the batteries still work? <laughs> Give me a sec. Um, knife aside and other cardboard aside. So this is the weapon, um, which is, I think the American one is not as fancy. Um, this is, this is really sweet. Let's see, tab out. So do you make noise? Do you make lights? I have no idea. I mean, 
It's it's plus twenty years old. I assume it doesn't make sounds, right? Or or lights in that case. Oh, oh here's her button. <laughs> Holy Holy macaroni! It's it's twenty four years old and the batteries still work. What the fudge? Work. Oh, because it's Huh. Let's see. <laughs> Twenty four years old batteries still work. I I can't get over this. What the hell? <laughs> That's quality by Japan, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, let's get to the main act. Where's my knife? <laughs> Sorry if the video's getting longer than expected, but this is really surprising. 24 year old batteries, almost 25 years old, and they still work. That's crazy. That's just plain crazy. Um, and honestly, I have no idea how to transform this guy. It's been years since I've seen Time Force. Like, in, and also on this show, it's like boop, 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 done. <laughs> so this is the jet, basically, and he reminds me a lot of the Delta Megazord from uh, Power Rangers in Space. They are similar because he works as an armor for the for the Time Force Megazord. And the Delta works as an armor basically for the Astro. Uh, so yeah. Um, a lot of metal in here. As you can see. The um, American version or European depends. I think uh, American European is almost identical. Um, I said that multiple times in different videos. Uh, this is the same mold but the American versions, um, there is a lot of metal taken out, electronics are taken out, lights, sounds, you know, and um, this this chromey bit sometimes gets replaced with dull plastic in in like a yellow tone or silver gets replaced with things in gray plastic, which is sad. Um, but this is um, so. Let's see. We can go fold you down. Muscle memory. Is that a thing? Ooh, this is a, whoa. Okay, we have you like this. And this is from for combination, I assume. Yeah, this is this looks like combination. Um, so are you? I mean, I have instructions, <laughs> but this is more fun, right? Um, fiddling around and. Finding out how everything works, so let's see. We have you like this. And... Folding you over. Here's a head. I don't want to break it. That would be the worst thing that could happen because it's... Jet mode, pulling up, pulling over, new. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I will make a quick cut and look in the manual because I don't want to ruin this thing. It looks so nice and shiny and as I said, it's out of box as you see and I opened up in front of the camera. So, cardboard away, give me a moment, I will transform him. And if I have a rough idea how, I will try to show it on camera. I think I have it! <laughs> well, kind of. Um, we were at this point, basically, where I left you. And this is the middle chest piece, the feet. And the, the hardest thing which makes my head to get wrapped around... It's similar with some of the wild zoros, like the bison, which has like... Basically, it's easy, but you have to know how. Otherwise, you're like, how does this work? So, you lift this up, and here are two metal bars. So, and you flip this over, if it lets you. So, 
And the head is inside, so you have to lift that up. If that makes sense, like lift this high. And you want to pull this back, but there's the other pieces here in the way, so you have to be make sure you don't have it too high or too low for this, so you have it like like so, halfway. Pull this. And then uh, flip it that you have it like this. Because this here, this part slides in again. And then I thought it would be like the wings would be in the back. That would that was my like mistake in, in, in my head was like how does this like because I always had it in my head as like the wings were like on the back like so but they're more like more like this and you have connector parts here and here so just just basically clicks and then he's like this flip this up to reveal the face this is this is a huge back part I made room in the shelf for this guy uh, there's the time force thing I, I hope I can fit this because I didn't thought it would be like this huge of a back um, so and the arms they are hidden here in, in the wings so they are just rotated out this goes up and these are very floppy I don't know if it's because of even in box of the age or like per basic and Here's a part which is like two pieces, flips up, similar deal on the other side, uh, and the hands rotate out. This, as I said, this reminds me a lot of Delta Megazord because he had similar cannon arms. And he has um, stored in the wings these blue pieces which were in the part with this, with the mask for the combination. And you can give him this on, on the fingers here, on the on the hands they become swords like on the show and this is the the gun I uh, think it's used for the combination I think he never used it does it does, I don't know was it used on the show as like in this mode I have no idea um, is there here's the peg on the on the part behind the head if you have it in, in ship mode, basically, where you can attach this one. Um, otherwise, for oh yeah, I forgot the batteries. For the combination, I just scared myself there, sorry. Um, which, which is nice is the detail on this guy. Um, I will give you, take this away. Uh, the, the, uh, the arms bother me a bit that they are a bit floppy, but if they are on the shelf, that's fine, I guess. Um, I never had this dude before, so... This is this is a bit a bit weird for me, but if you have him posed, I guess this is fine. I, I see a, there are some screws. I might tighten them up a bit and hope that does the trick. Otherwise, he looks really nice. The detail here, the missiles in in the wings, which technically shoot in the show. I mean, this is just it's not just painted on it. It's 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 engraved in there. Um, also here at the back, um, which I see in the manual, there's a cockpit in there. So if you have the minifigures from the set I mentioned at the beginning of this video, um, you could take those in there and have the Ranger sword in there, or in the in the Time Force jets in the Time Force Megazord. Uh, the Quantum Rex I own comes with a Quantum Ranger in that scale. So I'm missing the other ones. Um, yeah, I mean, back in the day, I think that wasn't too expensive, at least in Japan, because it's a, J a Japan exclusive. The US has a similar part without the figures, or I think with figures, I don't know. I don't really know if I want those. I think I can. Uh, not, not can is the wrong word. I think I want that. But for the price, ugh, 350 up to 500 and more for too much way too much 50 would be even when I say like ooh, 50 um, even 50 to 100 would be like where I'm like ah doesn't have to be new or in box 
just really good quality. I mean, if anybody's selling that thing for 150 or 5200, I technically just need to ship for uh, for the weapon for the blue mode of the Time Force Megazord. But then I want the other Rangers, so uh, I think about it. If I if I have spare money and I go nuts or drunk, maybe. <laughs> but for the moment, nope. That concludes the Time Force um, shelf part. Next season is Wild Force, and after Wild Force comes Ninja Storm, and so on and so forth. And Ninja Storm was almost complete as well. I just need the weapons, the squares, and the the mammoth. But yeah, we'll see. Anyhow, I talk too much as always. I have to cut that in the proper part because I record. I think I handled the sword like 40 minutes. So like, how is this working? I applied the stickers. It's not much. Anybody likes stickers? Even the, the small ones are the pain. They're the, and I always mess something up, even if it's a millimeter or two. So yeah, be honest down in the comments. Do you like stickers on toys? Do you enjoy that, or do you like nah? Um, anyhow, another like 360 gorgeous sword. If you don't have this one, try to get it. And as always, try not to overpay things. Um, this one is also very cool. I have to see how I store everything on the shelf. And as I said, lights and sounds after 20 plus years, still the batteries still work. It's crazy. So thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And as always, see you next time.